All right, let's go home and unbox these. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going shopping and I'm going to take you with me. We are going to Flannels. They are currently having a huge 20% off sale. I want to take a look at the Gucci, the Fendi. There's some shoes and trainers I want to look at. There's some ready to wear I want to look at. I want to look at some of YSL as well while the sale is on. I know as well that they also do huge discounts whenever it comes to Black Friday. So I want to go down and check out what's there and either see what's in today's sale, what's available, and then maybe also have a look when it comes to Black Friday and see what other pieces I can pick up then. They do obviously have a website flannel, so I have checked out on the website and browsed on there. So as I am intentional about my shopping, what it is that I'm thinking of getting. So I have a list of things I want to go and look at. If you aren't near a store while they have this discount on, they do, of course, do worldwide shipping and they do returns. So if you order anything from them and it doesn't work out for you for whatever reason, you can return it and get your full refund, which I think is fab. This video, I am delighted to tell you, is in conjunction with flannels and I'm so excited about that. They have so much good stuff that I want to go and have a look at and I'm going to take you with me, see what we can see and see if any of these things I have found on the website are in store for me to bring home. Before we go, quick outfit of the day. I have my Ami Paris jumper on which I wear to death. I have the teal caviar Chanel mini. I have my Loewe jeans on and I have my Dior trainers, which are the most comfortable things in the world. These trainers are fabulous. Love them. So this is what I'm wearing for today for our shopping vlog. And now we'll go and see what we can find. With 20% off all full priced items, let's start with the new Bottega Ugg boots. I don't know about these. I just don't know about these and the price of these versus normal Ugg boots, but I do really like these boots. I think they're really interesting with the distinctive Bottega leather and the way they're woven together. I'm always a huge fan of Gucci trainers. I really want these blue ones in the pink, but they didn't have them in that colorway, but I love them. I love all of my Gucci trainers. One of the best staples in my wardrobe. They had a really good choice of these. I did have a look at the Fendi Calibris because I was shocked at the price of these. These have been reduced in flannels to 420 pounds i have never seen that before i did try these on i thought they were absolutely stunningly beautiful and you will potentially see these come into my future at some point the fendi mesh trainers which are also really interesting and then i did have a look at some of the fendi boots i do like the ranger type boots that they have i think they could be a real vibe by themselves they also had prada i really like these prada trainers i'm loving all trainers at the minute i love these Louboutin ones of course i'm going to be drawn to the colors of these Louboutin trainers i think these are absolutely fabulous i'm actually battling myself not to buy these i just love the color i think they're so striking loved these arigato trainers this green color i thought was absolutely beautiful couldn't resist trying these on there were a lot of trainers that caught my attention i also keep coming back to golden goose but i'm not sure i know dale has them but i'm not sure back to the green arigato ones which i'm really loving i think his stuff is really interesting and is really growing on me more and more and more taking a look at the high heels to keep my husband happy but they're not really where I can spend most of my time shopping in at the minute I did go back to these Calibri's I think they're stunning look at the sparkle on that sequence and the price of them was just unbelievable I couldn't get over them being 400 pounds I did have to take a really close look at these because they're so so beautiful can't walk out without looking at the Louboutin heels they call me back to the nostalgia of my youth they had a really good selection of them and I again back with the bright colors which just seem to be my weakness anything with bright colors and that fendi first heel it's absolutely fabulous now let's take a look at gucci and the handbags they have a huge range of gucci i am loving the colors but the one that surprised me was the new version of the soho disco bag in the chalk color this is not a color that i would normally be drawn to neither is it a bag shape i'm normally drawn to but i really really liked this version of it I did like it also in this bigger bag, but this is the one that has me. I think this is absolutely stunning and I'm surprised at myself that I don't love the brighter color. I just think this chalk version is an absolute beauty. I still like the horse bit bags as well. I do like the look of that. I do like it against the traditional Gucci canvas. Of course, I can't walk by without looking at the colors. I love these summer colors. This little box bag was so cute. The chain was detachable. You could clip it out from underneath. It had rose gold hardware, which is unusual. It really worked with the color of pink, and I really liked the structure of it. Walk past a bright orange bag. This color's fabulous. Gucci does colors so, so well. 
These bags, what do you think with the bamboo handles? Mm. Back to this one, love it. Love this bag crossbody, the rose gold hardware. So many things about this bag are calling me. I just, I can see it even with a casual outfit. I like the juxtaposition of the structured style of it. I think it works really, really well. Then when you clip the chain out and you can carry it as a little clutch, I think it really, really works. I did take a look at the Gucci ready to wear because I love it. There are a pair of Gucci jeans that you will see that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's the denim with the Gucci turned up at the bottom. I think they're absolutely stunning. They don't have my size, unfortunately, but really, really beautiful. I really like these. I think these are really interesting with the silver i think there's something quirky about them drawn to these trainers i think they're pretty cool love the colors of this scarf i love the burgundies against the lighter color i think it works really well with my coloring and once i got this on i did parade around the shop a little bit in it i think it's a really good option and when i put this beside the little pink bag that seems to be calling my name and wanting me to come home and join the collection. I thought they looked really well together and I can imagine these in my collection. This little velvet bag was new in the store today and it was a stunner. You will see more of that coming out crossbody, but you could also wrap the chain underneath the flap and make it shorter. I thought this was really pretty. This just made me think of Christmas. It's the velvet with the gold hardware against it. I like the stitching on it. I really liked the detail on this bag. I thought it was very, very pretty. This was only new in the store today this is from the new collection this is when i had put the chain underneath the flap to make it a little bit shorter i then went over to ysl they had a huge amount of ysl bags wait till you see the oversized ysl bag which had also arrived in store today this bag does this not give you chanel maxi flap vibes only it's 3800 pounds so although very expensive at a far better price than what a chanel maxi flap would be i think this is really cool if you're someone that travels a lot i love this gray color not normally my color but in the velvet i thought it was really pretty and i really liked the gold hardware against it i thought bah, back to the little ysl velvet bag i just can't put this one down at the moment i think it's very interesting and it's calling my name but i did really like the gray in the lulu i thought it was a really good option i thought that it was the type of bag that would be a really good winter neutral bag not something that i normally say because it's just not my color but i was pretty drawn to it and i did Keep going back to it. This is a new bag from YSL, which has this strap, as you can see. This is the large version, but you can take that strap out and then carry this as a clutch bag. It also came in a smooth leather as well as this mock croc. So if you imagine that as an oversized clutch, this is the mini version, which both of these are giving me Hermes vibes, but the mini version also comes out with the strap and you can use it as a clutch. And then there was a small version, which was in between the two. As I said, a lot of YSL bags or a lot of strong neutrals. If you're looking for something like that to add to your collection, YSL do great SLGs. I liked this little camera bag. Again, not a bag that I'm normally drawn to, but I really liked the color and the suede. And I don't know what's going on with me with these neutrals, but I thought this was really, really pretty. And I could imagine this in the winter. YSL bags, again, they have the staples, the college bag, the Lulu bag. They have a lot of choice of YSL. I think YSL is definitely raising its game and probably becoming a strong contender. When you look at the price of some of the bags, if you were looking at Chanel or even Louis Vuitton, you can get a full leather bag from YSL at a much better price. Fendi, they didn't have the hugest of selection. These were all on sale though. Again, I don't normally see that. I think that's fab. They did have a little bit of Fendi. They had this multicolor baguette, which I really like, although I would prefer with brighter colors, but that's just personal choice. They did have the foam clutch bag in the satin as well, and they did have some of the Fendi SLGs. They did have a really nice blue baguette, which made me think of Deb from Wild Unfiltered. I think this is the type of color that she would enjoy. Did take a look at those Valentino heels again, which can't walk away from. And then <laughs> back to some more of the Gucci bags. They do have quite a range also of the Jacquemus bags. These are not my favorite bags, but they are quite popular. So I did want to include some of them for you to see. I then went to Bottega. The green from Bottega still calls my name. This bag was reduced to just over 500 pounds, which I can't believe. Not the Jody, but the pouch bag in the suede. They did have the Jody in the green color and they had also a lot of the new pastel colors. This one, if I had anywhere to wear, I would buy it. It's like a toweling fabric and it was reduced from, I think, around £1,800 to £500 or so. And I thought it was a really, really cool piece. If you had some sort of events to wear this to, I thought it was fab. I did try the larger Jody on, but I found it slipped off my shoulder. These are the new season pastel colors. 
I do like those and I do like the mini Jodie in the pastel colours but I have to say that I'm personally drawn more to the stronger colours but I know that the pastel colours will appeal to a lot of people because not everyone wants everything to be so bright and in your face as I do. I did really like the lilac version in the mini Jodie. I thought it was really, really cute. I thought I could... It reminded me of Dale's lilac and I could imagine that and I really liked the gold metallic. I thought it was quite striking and a bag that would get attention. Classic Bottega bags. I have to say I'm very impressed with their leather. I think their leather feels amazing. This bag is really popular at the minute. You will see a lot of this on social media. You'll see a lot of this on Instagram. It is really cool. If you have somewhere to wear this bag, I think it is a vibe and I think it does a lot of the talking for you. Really, really cool piece. They did tell me in store today that the Alexander McQueen bags have been more popular than they usually would normally sell and they had quite a good range of them. I did like the little red one with the cluster on the top of it this i thought was quite a cool piece the silver was cool as well but it did have quite a lot of fingerprints on it then the le bouton bags i'm generally drawn to their shoes more than the bags but they did have a very good range in store they also had some valentino and they had some Givenchy. they also had some celine i keep going back to the potential of potentially a celine triumph bag that's not completely out of my mind so i did try some of these with the traditional beautiful celine clasp i really like it it was not maybe top of my list but it's always on my mind back to the prada very sparkly. All right, let's go home and unbox these. So I'm home and let me share with you what I picked up in flannels on our shopping trip. Did you see the prices in flannels? Did you see the price of the Fendi Calibris? I have never seen those on sale before. I was quite shocked. Did you see the price of the Bottega green pouch? If I had anywhere, anywhere at all to go with that bag, I would have bought it. 500 and something pounds for, uh, fabulous. Anyway, so this is what I picked up and if you saw on the vlog, their current promotion in store is 20% off everything that is full price. That includes Gucci, that includes Fendi, that includes YSL. I, so often whenever there are 20% off or 10% off, there's so many brand exclusions, but all of those were included. So I'm gonna share with you what I got today and then I'm also gonna share with you what item that I didn't bring home but is living in there and I'm kind of obsessing about and I'm I'm very tempted to get back in my car and drive back to the store. But let's start with what we have here. Number one is Gucci and I just couldn't pass this up. I just love it. If you've been on my channel for a while, you may know that there's an orange and blue scarf that Bestie bought whenever we were in Paris in Gucci and I love it. I love it so, so much. He allowed me to share it on a vlog, but he won't give it to me and I've been after it for a while. So when I saw this one, I really loved this and I thought this was similar. So it's the colors again, if you look around my room, these are my sort of colors. I love that there is the lighter side to kind of take away from the darkness of the burgundy. And then you can see the um, glitter almost. It's like, sorry, the paper of that's making noise it's almost like a glitter thread that goes through it and I just loved it I thought with my copper hair when I tried it on in store I really liked it I can see a lot of wear out of this it's ages since I've bought a scarf I've had the scarves that I have for a very long time so this was Gucci and this was in the 20% off and that was oh I like that yes I like that so what was that it was 20% off it was 385 pounds about 77 pounds or so off this. And it's so unusual to see Gucci in the sale that I couldn't resist it. They also had the Gucci jeans with the massive turnips and they didn't have my size. If they had have had my size in those, I would have bought those as well because they were also in the sale. And I think they're fab. I think they're a really, really cool pair of jeans. And then I also bought these Axel Arigato. If you watched my previous unboxing, I bought from the Mulberry Axel Arigato collaboration. And it was that collaboration which really turned me on to this brand. They didn't know too much about it before. But when I saw these, I have been looking for trainers that are like these for a long time. This type of colour and these were just perfect. These are the Arigato. I'm not sure if the style does it tell me on the box. Dice Axel Dice Sneaker in white and keel. I got these true to size. These are a 38 which is in my size and I think they're really really cool. I had tried to buy the Nike ones of these and when I tried them there's just something that wasn't perfect. 
absolutely loved these when I tried these on in store. These were reduced as well. These were down to, I think, about 180 maybe, but these were, these were reduced as well. So both of the items that I got were reduced and I love both of these. I think these are so cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with these. I'm gonna leave all of the details for flannels down below in the description box. Do check out their website. If you do live close to a store, do call in because the 20% off everything that is full price, there's a lot of things in there that might not be on the website, especially from the higher end brands. And it's an opportunity. Like if you've been waiting to buy a Gucci bag or a YSL Lulu or a Fendi bag, a Fendi baguette, or you're looking for one of the new Gucci, the horse bit bags or the, it's 20% off, I, it's it's crazy. You just don't see it with those brands. So I think it's a really good opportunity. If you miss this one, keep your eyes posted for Black Friday because they also do sales and discounts at Black Friday and you might get 20% off the brands at that point as well. I will leave all of the details for you to go through down below in the description box so as you can check it out, I'll leave all the information for you. And if you do go through and you find anything you like and you get a really good discount, come into the comment box and let me know. Thank you so much for coming shopping with me. Oh, I told you the one that, <laughs> the one that I can't get out of my mind. It's the little structured pink Gucci bag. I think this is a vibe. It's got rose gold hardware, which is really unusual. I really liked it crossbody. I also liked that you could take off the strap on the inside, pull it through, and you could use it as a little two finger kind of box clutch bag. I think this is, with this scarf, I thought that bag was kind of a moment and I'm, I'm quite obsessing about it. It was also 20% off, so it was about 1400 and something so you were getting it I think for 1100 pounds which for a Gucci bag telling you it's it's fab all the information will be down below thank you so much for coming shopping with me thank you for hanging out with me let me know what your favorite is if you have enjoyed this video in any way please do give it a thumbs up if you're not done with me yet I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing thank you so much for being here thank you for watching me please take care and I will see you again in the next one